I want to be really, really real with you guys. So, as you know, I'm autistic and I have ADHD. I live in just a world that is just totally conflicted to my needs and to, you know, the world just isn't accessible to me in many different ways. Something works, some things don't. You know, the world can be just really overwhelming. This isn't usually something I'd openly talk about because it's quite personal to me and my family, but I'm, I'm just, I want to share it with you. So I passed my driving test when I was 17 years old. Ever since then, cars and like speeding, reckless driving, you know, I've spoken about it before. It's not been a great experience for me. So I gave up my car and driving. Ever since I've done that, I've been hyper-focused and it's not even hyper-focused, it's actually, I would say a borderline obsession with the cars. I've had a, like really overwhelming impulses to buy one, get one on finance when I just can't afford to. I've been in a terrible, meltdowns and and like overwhelming like and i'm gonna say a breakdown because i put myself in situations where i've built myself up so much hope that i can get a car i can do this i can do that and the reality is i can't afford to do it but i'm so obsessed and like hyper fixated on getting a car and wanting a car and getting a new car a nice car that it's become it took over a lot of my life for a good few years and even now like i'm going to explain where i am and why i'm telling you this so i have a younger sister who passed her test a few years ago um and she um got she got a really nice car um and again that was a, a, a that was a massive trigger for me my sister passing her test her having a car was a, like a it was a major adjustment and trigger for me i had to like take myself out, out of the situation a little bit and remind myself that i'm actually I need to be happy for my sister. I need to be really supportive and like, you know, support her. She's, you know, just passed her test. She's got a lovely car, but it took me a long time and it come across as jealousy and I didn't want to get in the car because I, every time I got in the car, I was so angry, frustrated that I couldn't have it. I become really irritable. And my sister ultimately just didn't want to be around me when we were on about like, you know, going in the car because it was intense. A few months ago, my sister um, got into her dream career and she's thriving in that. And it's actually like quite far away from where we live. So she has to commute every day, at least like an hour away, like there and back. So her little car that she has, she's going to, you know, she's going to get a new car. And we're at a dealership. I want to be that support of Big Sister. I want to be here and I want to be able to support her and show her how incredibly proud I am of her. But I couldn't get out of the car today because... I know that if I do, and I go with her into this dealership of my parents, I'm gonna get triggered and I'm gonna want a car. And you know, this is how life is for me. I do have to take myself out of situations that I, I want to be in and I want to be present in and I want to support my sister in, but I can't. So it's been a tough, it's tough. I'm sat in a car of a dealership surrounded by lovely lovely cars yet yeah, all i can think about is how much i failed as a big sister because i can't i can't go in like if i go into the dealership and you know i see about finance cars or I, you know i just don't want to trigger myself so i've taken myself out of the situation and yeah this is what real life is like for me it's not a walk in the park, you know, there's things in life that just trigger me and what other people think is just normal day to day things is just, it's it's really, honestly, it's, it's challenging for me and it, it almost like isolates me away from the people I love the most because I'm thinking about them, thinking I, I don't want to go in with them there's situations that I can't do like I've got to take I've got to take myself away from certain things I've got to remove certain things from my life in order to, for me to be able to grow and I feel like I've actually really grown as a person like a human today like I feel like although I feel like a really rubbish big sister but I have a sense of kind of like pride for myself because I feel like I've taken myself out of the situation, one, for my own, like, mental health, but two, because I don't want to be the reason why people are not enjoying 
these things in their life like their milestones like this is a big thing for my sister to be able to get a car off of, off a you know dealership forecourt like that's a huge thing like that's everybody wants to be able to do that and like she can and one day you know i hope i will be able to too but like this is the thing i'm at a car dealership one of my biggest triggers and i'm trying to detach myself from reality a little bit i'm trying to I'm watching YouTube videos, watching TikToks because I don't really want to remind myself that I'm here because it's a huge thing for me. Um, but like, I don't take decisions like this lightly. Like usually I would push myself to go in, but then I end up ruining everyone else's day because they're all on edge because they're like, oh, we know just when we go home, this is all she's going to go on about. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm going to be going on about, I want a car, I want a finance. Why is my life not as good as hers? So yeah, I feel today that I've, a bit of like personal growth i feel like i've i've grown as a person over the time i've been diagnosed i can see it and today i've really seen it does that make sense i think it does